As the clock takes towards voting day in Dokolo district, different candidates are traversing the district to converse for votes. <laughs> FDC party big shots are all in the district to come votes for Cecilia Gua's daughter, Rosemary Alwacho Gualla. <laughs> Today we bring to you the real daughter of a taxi, a person who understands the issues of Dokolo, the issues of Lamo, and the issues of Uganda. We had a lot of difficulties encouraging Rosemary to become our country. Everyone was fighting for her. Speaking in Bata Town Council on Saturday, FDC Party President Patrick Amuriato Boy asked the people of Dokolo to vote and watch for her mother's likeness. We have had an outpouring of emotions because of the candidate that we have, the quality of the candidate, the relationship of the candidate. She understands local issues and it's these local issues that are in the core of our campaign. And I'm to teach the government Dr. Rosemir Alwachogwal says her bid is to continue with her late mother's projects, including protection of people's land, contributing to empowerment programs, and developing the tourism site at Kangai, where Kabaka Mwanga and Kabaka Kabalega were arrested in 1899. It will be a museum that will connect the history of the people of now with the people of Acholi, with the people of Bunyoro, with the people of Buganda, as well as the United Kingdom. She was able to make regional issues national ones, and national issues international ones. <laughs> Alwaj received warm welcome in the rallies in which he was accompanied by party leaders and legislators. Seven candidates are in the race to replace the late Cecilia Gwalla. We are begging you, want you for you, give us a month again. Me, want you to do what you do here. And that is Rosemary. I'm going to remember my parliament and take a little look in. UPC has fronted Sarah Gutinyankori, while NRM has Janet Rosa Dong and Nu as Harriet Ageno. Others running independently include Dr. Grace Lalama, Esther Akulo, and Rebecca Arao. And the by election will be held on the 21st of this month. Edi Olua, UBC News.